Hello guys and welcome to Vlogging Project. In case you're new to my channel, you probably don't know that I've set myself a goal to find a proper wireless Bluetooth headphones under 20 quid here in the UK. The reason for doing that is that I wanted to replace my old Zeheiser HD 22s with, some, <laughs> with something wireless. So I bought seven pair of headphones and these are the second ones that I'm going to test. These are the CES TT. P01. I've paid about 19 quid for them, but if you click in the description down below, Amazon has them on offer at the moment, 16 quid for those headphones, guys. But let's see if they're worth it. Okay, guys, so let's kick off with a quick unboxing of the CEST, CS or CES or whatever the pronunciation is, wireless Bluetooth headphones, which cost only 16 bucks. Now, the highlight of those headphones is the share me function. Basically, if you buy two pairs of headphones, you can give it to two different people. And when they are connected to the same source, they can listen to the same thing at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes any sense. So we can also learn that they're foldable and they've got 2000 hours of standby time. Yeah, right. Now at the bottom of the box, let's see what else do we have. Some technical perimeters, which I'm not going to cover because I'm not that techy when it comes down to headphones. All I can say is that if they're worth the money and if they're okay or not now the playing time of those headphones is 16 hours i'm really a little bit dubious about it i don't think it's 16 hours probably 8 to 10 hours which is still good so let's waste no more time do the unboxing now what can we see over here environmental protection design okay they probably refer to the you know recycled cardboard that they fuse for those headphones and now check this out guys the headphones themselves i'm gonna check them on the side over here for now and let's see what we have in the box. We've got a rather thick instruction manuals over here. We've got the USB micro USB charging cable. Now I've tried this cable with my smartphone. It doesn't let me do anything apart from charging it. So basically they've cheaped out on a cable, but what can you expect when, you know, it does what it says on the tin without any extra functionality and now this is the 3.5 millimeter cable actually let's see how tall this cable is indeed so let's measure it up like that okay so one meter 50 centimeters guys one meter 50 centimeters check this out that is nice nice length over here so let's have a look at the headphones themselves. They're foldable, as you can see, and they've got quite a few steps. So let me see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten steps. So which means no matter how big your head is, uh, or if it's bigger than mine, uh, <laughs> you're going to have absolutely no problems with these headphones, guys. Now, they fold just like that really nice and easy no extra force needed and i really like the chamfered edges over here and the fact that you've got a cold metal design over here I, actually excellent quality for 20 quid now we've got some red padding over here which is not too much but it's just about enough so they're comfortable when sitting on top of your head and the padding over here is really nice as well now keep something else in mind with long listening sessions over an hour you're gonna start feeling a little bit of heat to your ears guys and the thing that i like over here is that there is no bubbles inside everything is solid and it shows you which one is the left which one is the right and for somebody like me which is always double checking if they've put it on the correct way this is definitely a go i like that guys now, what else do we have? On the left one, let's see, left one, yes, left one. <laughs> On the left one, we've got a 3.5 millimeter jack, our microphone, and the micro USB charging port. On the right hand side, we've got volume up and down, as well as when you hold it, you skip the track, we've got a notification LED over here, as well as our power button, and yet another microphone so i'm definitely feeling the design guys a really nice plastic all over the place really nice and sturdy i've got totally no scratches whatsoever on them the only thing which you notice about the design is check this one out this kind of plastic hits the metal a little bit check this out and on this side actually it doesn't 
So yeah, I guess these things could become loose with time a little bit, but again, 16 quid, you can't really complain. And now the most important thing about those headphones is how do they sound, guys? Now, these particular headphones are focused on the bass. The bass is really, really, really strong, guys. And it's a little bit stronger that I wish it could be, especially when plugged into Bluetooth mode only. So the mids are pretty much non-existent, the treble is gone and you've got pretty much bass only, which it could be good if you're listening to hip hop, electronic music or something like that. But if, if you're watching YouTube videos, uh, my videos for example, uh, you're going to struggle hearing my voice properly. But the thing is, when you use the 3.5mm cable over here, the treble is back on and the bass is just a little bit more balanced and actually the sound coming out of them is pretty good now these are the type of headphones that are so powerful that you can gonna feel the driver vibrating to your ears guys uh, so i'm definitely happy with the sound quality when plugged with the 3.5 millimeter jack but not that much in bluetooth mode now the good thing is that there is no significant difference in the volume output in both bluetooth or wired modes because with most bluetooth headphones there is a huge difference if you use the bluetooth only but in this one is more than powerful in bluetooth which quite surprised me to be honest with you now the big question is, are they better than the 17 quid Zenheiser HD212? Now the bass is way more powerful and when connected to the 3.5mm jack, the audio quality and overall all, the, all, all sound related is actually better than the Sennheiser HD212. But in Bluetooth mode, yes, the bass is more powerful, but you've got no mids and treble with these headphones, guys. So basically, in, in my particular case, I need them for rendering and for music. Um, there might not be my very first choice because I need to listen to my voice a little bit more carefully so I can correct uh, my spelling mistakes and um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it guys. For 16 quid, I can definitely recommend this. The quality is way above, you know, 50 quid mark. So for a kit or something like that, I can definitely recommend them. But if you're, you know, planning to use them for more professional mode, for voice or this and that, uh, there might be a better options out there. So I've got five more pairs left. Subscribe to Vlogging Project. I'm going to try to issue a review every week to see whether the rest are better. But to be honest with you, I don't see any of the rest going, you know, more powerful at the base from these ones, guys. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, listening, and uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Adios.